Hey everyone, and welcome to the Bias Leviathan's tier list. First off, we have the regular Trilicerate. In my opinion, this one isn't necessarily like some crazy cool Leviathan or necessarily really annoying. Honestly, I think it probably just goes right in the middle. It's easy to avoid and it doesn't get in the way. And at the same time, it's a pretty cool Leviathan. Next up, we have the Sea Dragon. This one is one of my personal favorites, not only because of its amazing sound design and just the sound it makes when it roars. Honestly, just for that, I think that's enough to put it into A tier. Overall, great Leviathan. It can sometimes be a bit annoying, but if you know what you're doing, it's easy to get past. And overall, I really like it. Next up, Vent Garden. Although this one, in my opinion, is a very cool concept for a Leviathan, having one that doesn't even move and is just completely stationary, I'm honestly going to have to put it down in C tier. I wouldn't say it's terrible. At the very least, it doesn't get in the way or be annoying. But with it being a completely passive Leviathan that doesn't move at all, I don't count the juveniles. And its only use is ribbon plants, I think they're called. I don't think it can really get any higher than a C tier. Before we get too far, I have a Discord server. You can find all sorts of things there, such as sneak peeks, game nights, and several insane Subnautica players who need to seek professional help. So, if any of that sounds interesting to you, there's a link in the description for that. And without further ado, let's get on with the rest of the video. Also, you might have noticed the tier list doesn't go past D tier. This was intentional because there really aren't that many Leviathans, so having two extra tiers wouldn't really make any sense, and it would just be a bit sparse. But anyway, next up is the Reefback. Pros. It's a very cool leviathan that has a lot of atmosphere to both the grassy plateaus and all the other biomes it finds itself in, mainly the grassy plateaus. It is passive and still moves, so it definitely gets a leg up from the vent garden, and it's a very cool concept. The only downsides, in my opinion, of the reefback is it is passive, so it isn't, you know, hostile, and for me a cool leviathan means it's hostile. And also it can be a bit annoying, especially if you build the Neptune rocket in the grassy plateaus, it will move it everywhere. So for that, I'm gonna have to move it down to A tier. It would be an S tier, but because of its passiveness and sometimes general annoyance, it gets pushed down a tier. Next up is the Ghost Leviathan, another personal favorite of mine, as well as many other Somatic players. The sounds it makes are really cool, and I'm a big fan of sound design and generally creepy sounds, but I don't think it looks quite as cool as a lot of the other Leviathans, and it's definitely a lot more annoying than them, so I am gonna have to do something a little controversial and put it in B tier. Next up is the Glow Whale. This one's alright, kinda mid, so I'm gonna put it in a mid tier. Honestly, the Glow Whale, at least in my opinion, doesn't really add a whole lot to the game. Sure, it adds some extra life to the one biome it's in, but apart from that, it doesn't really do much. And just because you can ride it, doesn't mean it's cool. Sorry. Next up is the Frozen Leviathan. I love this thing, but I would love it more if it wasn't, you know, frozen. So just for that, even though I would put it in S tier, Honestly, it's got to go in A tier. It is one of the biggest plot points of the entire game, so it definitely gets boost for that. And if I'm correct, it's one of the largest Leviathans, if not the largest. So really, where else could it go but A tier? Next up is the Sea Emperor, with it being the only thing more Leviathan-esque than the Sea Dragon, and it, you know, obviously being basically the story of Subnautica. I think it's only fair to put it in S tier. I mean, come on. Next up, we have the Shadow Leviathan. I hate this thing. I There's no Leviathan I despise more. I love the concept, it's a cool looking thing, but it is the most annoying creature this game has to offer. I would put it in F tier, but D tier is the lowest we got, so we're going with that. And why you may ask, it's a cool Leviathan, it's one of the major Leviathans of Below Zero. How could you put it in D tier? Well, just take a look at my first Below Zero playthrough. Oh, hi. Hi there. Why? Right there. Hi. Okay, you know what? We can sacrifice some health uh, for Q. Next up, we have the Reaper Leviathan. This is probably one of everyone's favorites, and I'm gonna do something most people wouldn't do, and that is put it in A tier. Honestly, it's a little overrated. Although, it would definitely at least go to the top of A tier. In my opinion, it's just another snake leviathan. And, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of those. And, you know, if you don't agree with me, then... Why'd you watch the Bias Leviathan tier list? What did you expect? It's Bias. Anyway, next up, we got the Sea Treaders. 
These are pretty cool things. They don't really do too much, although um, certain things definitely make them more special in certain aspects. So I'm going to put them in B tier. Next up is the Void Chalicerate. This thing is 100% cooler than the regular Chalicerate. I think everyone can agree with me on that one. So I would say it will definitely go in A tier. I wouldn't say it's better than the Reek Bat, only because it only spawns in one biome, and that's the Void, which is kind of boring. It'd be nice to see it other places, but I definitely like the creature as a whole more so than the frozen leviathan so it's going in between the two and finally the ice worm definitely going in s tier come on now my favorite leviathan in the game i think we all know that at this point not only is it probably one of the coolest designs in all of subnautica but the fact that it's a land-based leviathan which is something that never appears ever in either game definitely pushes it up to s tier at the very least and with it definitely having some of the best lore and sound design in the game i'd say it goes top of the tier and, as the rules go with any other video in this series, if I forgot it, it's definitely not memorable enough to go anywhere above F tier. So, thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and subscribe. Why not? And, I'll see you in the next video. See ya!